Hey parents, I hope you guys are doing great. I wanted just to take a few moments and just to talk about uh, why your son or daughter should go on road rules. And uh, sometimes I make a lot of assumptions and don't take the time to explain why. And so I was like, you know what, I want to just let you parents know um, all of the details uh, to an extent about why we do road rules and kind of what takes place and, and some of those things. So, so here we go. Um, road rules historically has almost always been a, a, a multi-state amazing race scavenger hunt. So like 13 students in a van with two leaders. One's a co-pilot and, and his or her role is to drive, which is my favorite role and leader role on road rules. And then there's a co-pilot. That co-pilot's job is to navigate, um, tell the driver when to turn, where to go, uh, make all of uh, the decisions and the competitions that take place. They kind of they kind of keep the team going in the same place. And, and when we stop somewhere and there's a competition and everybody hops out, the driver usually stays or parks or whatever. Um, and then the co-pilot and the rest of the students who are in the van are running to the competition and all of those things. And so some of the details about road rules that makes it really, really great is um, every van, um, uh, the two leaders, co-pilot and drivers, are the kind of the leaders of that particular team. Um, there's always um, competitions throughout the whole week. And those 13 or so students in that van, like that's like basically a family living all week together. And so they compete together. They're a team. And so all week long, we have competitions. We've got mascot competitions. Every every team has a mascot. There's a van competition. We decorate the vans. There's a song competition. Where they literally like write a parody song add their own own words to you know to the beat and 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 what really takes place on this particular trip is a couple of things um actually a lot of things uh a, a couple of things i want to hit on though is um in this process we're not just in a van driving around all day every day um historically um i think two years ago we went to louisiana and back and there was a little bit more driving than normal but but the goal is to foster competitions family dynamics, an atmosphere and environment where students are forced to truly get to know each other, um, truly um, in an environment where they can become real, vulnerable, transparent, and authentic. And almost every year I dread road rules when it comes around because of the logistics that go into it. And at the end of every road rules, I think it was worth it because you know 30 or so students will say something along the lines of, hey, um, I didn't want to go, mom and dad made me, but I'm glad I went. And, and the phrase that normally comes after that is, I now feel more connected than I ever have before. It's like getting like two years worth of small group time. If you if your son or daughter comes to every small group for like two years, um, that it's that amount of time shrink down into a Monday through half a Saturday. Uh, and so for a week of time together, it's like two years of small group time. And so it really helps connect to students. And so the reason we do road drills at the beginning of the summer is because we want to try to integrate the eighth grade that just moved up into high school. And um, every van is multi-grade, multi-gender, which is only male and female, but multi-grade, eighth through 12th grade, go on road rules every summer. And so it really creates this environment where they can get to know each other, get to know other leaders, um, get to know other students. And really our, our hope and desire is that like walls are broken down, they become, they feel known. Like there is something that takes place in the life of a student when they feel known by other people and other adults. Like it is just an amazing thing to see um, what the Lord does. And so that's just some of the things about road rules. Because some, some people think we just drive around all the time, but it's not. Like we may, uh, again, historically, um, going from one town to the next. Um, like if we were to go from Austin to Houston, that's only like a three-hour drive. But it may take us eight hours to get there because we're going to make a million stops because of all the competitions and we're going to take a lunch break and all of the things that are going to take place. And normally we have a speaker that goes with us. We have a band that travels with us and sets up um, at a different location every night. Because historically we stay at a different church every single night. And sometimes we show up to a church and it's like our campus. They've got lots of space and we can kind of do whatever we want. And sometimes we show up to a church that by the grace of God that he provided for us and they allowed us to stay there. But it's like the size of the triple room on our campus. And we eat in there and we put guys on one side of the room and girls on the other. And and sometimes uh, the places we stay at, they've got a full-blown kitchen like our church. And sometimes they've got like an oven in the corner and a stovetop. And we have a food crew that historically comes with us. I remember two years ago, 
35 coolers of food because we'd like to feed your students really well. Pulled pork, steaks, well, I usually mention the meat option. So, and all the fixings on the side and stuff. So we want to feed your students well. So it's a, it's a logistics nightmare. Um, and a program team and their job is to kind of get to places before us. Um, you know, cause again, a lot of what we do is competition driven. And again, it's just, just to help the students to compete together, um, for the hub cap is like this trophy that they get. Um, and whoever the road rules champion will be. And so it's point systems and, and all that kind of stuff that take place. And, and so it's, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, but the program team, that's usually a group of people that they get to every location before us, before all the vans. Cause again, there's usually six or so vans and there's 12 students, 13 students and two leaders, and they're all competing against each other. We're all friends. We all love each other. We're grateful for our walk with the Lord but I want to win. And actually my team won two years ago. So I was pretty excited. I didn't think it would ever happen. But so it just wanted to explain just a few details about what road rules is. Again, multi-state amazing race scavenger hunt. We stay at a different church almost every single night. And oh, I forgot to mention most of the churches we stay at don't have showers. So we call local YMCAs or if we're at an amusement park that day, your shower may be at four o'clock in the afternoon after your time at the amusement park because the church we're going to may not have a place to shower. So for the most part, everybody showers every day, but we have to get really creative with it. We've been known to uh, run a couple of hoses a couple of times and to shower as best we can in bathing suits, which is not ideal. But And the thing that's really been great about road rules is um, you know, the ladies aren't concerned about makeup and the guys, well, aren't always concerned about how well they look and smell. And, and it's really, it's this great opportunity that students, um, are known. I keep saying that, but it's a big part of who we are because we want every student to be known, man. It, that's why we have small group leaders that show up every week, um, during the school year is, is not, um, is because we know discipleship happens in relationships. And so, um, anyway, parents, I just wanted to kind of explain some of the why um, and some of the details about road rules. And so um, historically, you know nothing about what we do um, until you drop your son or daughter off for opening day. Um, and the first opening competition actually is about getting the students um, in their groups and so uh, their teams so they know who they're going to be with all week. And, um, and normally you get a top secret packet that tells you all the details of what we're doing. And, uh, but beforehand, you don't really know anything. And so we've, we've gone all over, um, and but done some really, really fun things with the students. And so, but the one thing that we've kind of revealed this year is that we are going to be staying here on campus at our church. And so, um, we're going to be staying here overnight, uh, Monday night, uh, June 14th through, uh, uh, Friday night, the 18th, it ends on the 19th, June 14th through 19th. Um, really excited for Seth and um, people here in our church to lead worship. I'm excited for um, many of the pastors to be able to preach the gospel to our students. We're going to um, uh, dive through a particular book in the Bible and just uh, going to provide opportunity for students to respond to the gospel, to grow in faith, to um, be willing to ponder where they are with their walk with the Lord and all of those things. And we're even going to start day one of Road Rules of a 30-day devotional. Um, and we're going to go through the first six days of that devotional. And then Lord willing, by the grace of God, they're going to continue and, and read the rest of the devotional for the next 30 days. And so these are just kind of some of the things that, that we do to do everything that we can. We're going to have every student's name on a, on a wrist, uh, wristband that, that will be given out the day before road rules for you to be praying for our church, to be praying for those people. We have um, a leader in our youth ministry who's going to be helping lead the prayer team. And so any prayer requests that come leading up to road rules and even during road rules, um, that particular person is going to help be praying for the students because we value that. We see that, um, that that does change lives. And so just again, wanted just to give a little bit of a snapshot about why we do road rules. And ultimately, the reason we do road rules is because we are a church that is simply about Jesus and we want everything that we do to help students meet, know, and follow Christ. And, you know, doing youth ministry for 11 years, uh, I have never found a trip that is as terrible to plan in my entire life as road rules. Uh, straight up, I'd rather do anything else other than plan this trip. 
Um, and it's not all me. Amanda Larner has done, for the most part, all of it. Um, and, and other other people, Megan Smith, uh, who's interning with this this summer, she's been a big part of it as well. And and some some of you parents have been helping with this. And so it, it definitely is a team effort for sure. Um, but the reason uh, every year I come back and say the reason we got to do a trip like this is because of how the students grow and connect with each other. I've not seen a we could easily go to a camp and sh pay a fee and show up and and do all the things. Um, but by doing and creating this particular trip, it allows students to grow in Christ, to be in community in some ways, maybe for the first time, because uh, you're you're close together. I mean, some of the places that we stay, it's ladies, you're in that little, you know, 20 by 20 little space and you men, uh, well, you're kind of in the hallway over there. And so it, it does, it appears a lot of what we do is pretty ghetto, which kind of is, but it but it's not about, uh, in a lot of ways, it's, it's not flashy. Um, there's really no like cool camp ambiance. Like we don't ever even get to control lighting in a space, hardly ever. Like it's usually just, you know, we, it is what it is. Like we just, and, and it's really cool because none of those, because sometimes those things, sometimes those things can distract from the gospel. Um, but, but very much of what we do, it's everybody pitches in. It's so great to see students. Um, who want to help, you know, set things up um, for dinner time or meal time or, or whatever it is. And so many times you also do little service projects as well, help serve people in some of the communities that we're in. And that's kind of all contingent on uh, the places that we can find to stay every year, because sometimes it's difficult to find churches that will let 100 people stay. <laughs> and most of the time they say, well, we, we don't really have enough space for hundred people. I'm like, well, how big's your space? I'm like, oh, that'll work. I'm like, we can make that work. And they're like, no, no, no. I'm like, no, no, no seriously. We can, we can make that work. If, if you just let us stay, we, we, we can make that work. And so um, anyway, I'm rambling a little bit, but just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a snippet um, of just what Road Rules is like. And also um, this year, we actually are having a pretty hard time finding enough leaders. Um, I think there's many reasons and I don't want to go into all those details, but but if there's at all a possibility that you could be a driver for road rules or a co-pilot or help with program team, um, that would be just a huge, huge blessing. Um, and I know it's coming up and we're doing everything we can to find leaders and we've been asking. And um, I think just due to the season that people are in with jobs and time off and stuff, it's been really difficult to find leaders. And so if, if you're at all possible able to help us out on this particular camp it would be a huge blessing and I know it'd be a blessing not only to you but um, also uh, to our students and just for you to get a get a glimpse of just uh, what takes place in youth ministry um, and what the Lord does and it's it's like it's like the best thing in the world so anyway appreciate you guys uh, if you do have any questions at all about road rules things that I haven't answered um, just let me know like please 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 ask away. Um, because I, I want to do everything I can to help give you an idea of what the camp is like and some of the details that go into that. So please feel free. There's no question that that is uh, unimportant. If you're thinking it, I, I want to know. And which I've even had more and more parents this past week that are asking me about the trip. And I was like, yo, I need to take take a few moments and just kind of just describe what the trip is like because parents are asking. So again, a couple of recap things. We are staying here at our church at Austin Oaks Church all week long and we're doing all the fun crazy stuff around our city and so um it'll very much feel like the same road rules that we've kind of always done the only difference is we're going to be staying at one location which is nice because we historically have to pack up every day the band has to load up every day and set up every day a different location the food crew has to deal again with a huge kitchen with all the things or like nothing at all um and so it's uh this year being able to have um, our campus to be able to use is going to make things a little bit easier and I think even hopefully give students a little bit more time together um, just connecting with each other and not always logistics of load up let's go and, and you know kind of the busyness of that kind of aspect of it and stuff so anyway appreciate your parents uh, very very grateful and looking forward to hanging out with your sons and daughters um, in a couple of weeks